Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews, and it seems like not even a week can go by <laughs> without at least more information being released about the upcoming smartwatch. Well, this new information states that the Gear S4 wireless charger has now received certification in South Korea and the model listing matches a Gear S4 model number which was leaked previously. And so this new charger model is labeled as an EPYO805 and that's the key. That's the model number and it would appear to match the Model S4 device's model number which was revealed to be an SMR805. <laughs> now unfortunately there were no photos to accompany the listing for the new charger but it's safe to assume that it's going to look similar to the cradle style charger for the S3. And although there haven't been any specifics on the features or even the functionality of the S4 yet, I do expect it to have at least an upgraded performance over the S3, and recent reports suggest that it will have a larger battery and be thinner thanks to improvements in the chipboard assembly process. Now other rumors have included that the S4 will be offered in two different sizes, which would actually be a welcome addition to those with smaller size wrists. And this isn't actually a bad idea because you already have the option of purchasing an Apple Watch and a 42mm or 38mm version, so it seems plausible that Samsung would want to replicate these options in its own smartwatches as it could potentially expand the customer base, particularly for women that may prefer a slimmer looking watch style. And sticking with the aesthetics of the watch, reports have also indicated that the S4 may come with different color options, a black, silver, and now gold version, although it's unlikely that you'd be able to get all three colors in both the Classic and Frontier editions, I would suspect that the Frontier would remain black due to its sporty appearance, and the silver and gold would be available only on the more dressy looking Classic version. Okay, so with all that being said, I've included my own top 5 features I hope make it into the Gear S4. Well, the one thing I'd like to see is a reduction in the watch thickness, and because of that new board assembly process that I mentioned previously, I think that's completely doable to shave a couple millimeters off of the case. And I also like the idea of the latest rumor that it may be offered now in two different sizes, as I think this would expand their customer base, and it would be more on par with what its competitors are already offering. Another useful improvement would be for fitness tracking. Now both the S3 and the Gear Sport have a lot of fitness tracking features, but from what I've read online, many users complain about the accuracy of that tracking, particularly when it comes to swimming tracking on the Gear Sport. So I think improvements here will strengthen its credibility as a reliable and functional device for the fitness lovers out there that really want more than just a watch to tell the time or to be able to change watch faces. Alright, I think the next point actually doesn't need any explanation as to why an improvement is necessary here, and it's really more than just a simple want. Ever since the Tizen 3.0 update last fall, and all the following software updates since then, the battery life has never seemed to be as good as it was before the update, and rumors of an increased battery size would definitely be a welcome upgrade, and one I hope is incorporated into the S4. Another area I hope Samsung finally pours more investment into is the app area. Recent rumors suggest that there may be cooperation with Google, although those rumors seem to have been quashed for now, but part of me really liked the idea of a partnership here, and I mean that solely from an app perspective. Now that it appears Samsung is going to stick with the Tizen operating system for the, at least the foreseeable future, I hope they can offer more choices in the apps available for the watch, as that would at least put them in a more competitive position to the offerings already available under the Wear operating system. And my last want for a feature in the S4 would be to see an increase in the available storage space. The current 4GB is really not that large, especially when you start loading more of those animated and highly functional watch faces, and as I just mentioned, if Samsung is serious about adding more apps to the Galaxy Store, then an increase in storage will definitely be a requirement. Now personally, I'd like to see at least 8GB in the next version, or worst case, a 4GB fixed memory with the option to add a memory card for an additional 4GB of expandable storage. Either way, I don't think 4GB is enough to meet the demand of all the multimedia applications and formats we use today. Okay guys, that's all I have for today for updates, as well as my top features. And speaking of those, what features would you like to see in the S4? 
or what are your top must-have features for you to consider upgrading the S4? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and before I forget, I wanted to give you guys a quick teaser for the biggest giveaway we've ever done on the channel, and it officially starts on July 1st, and I'm going to be posting a video with the full details then, but I think I've already given a pretty good hint of what it's going to be. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and supporting my channel. I'm going to continue to keep you guys updated with any S4 developments and stay tuned for our summer giveaway contest. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I would really appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.